What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to create a Fortnite Challenges website with the Fortnite Tracker API. We're going to use the Fortnite Tracker API to get the current active challenges data, and then we're going to display each challenge on our website in a list. All right, before we dive in, if you guys haven't checked out my previous Fortnite videos, go check them out because in this video, I'm going to be copying some code from those videos and modifying it a bit so it works with this active challenges endpoint. Or you can download the code on GitHub, github.com slash jstolpe, link in the description. In order to talk to the API and hit the active challenges endpoint, we need an API key. Head over to fortnitechacker.com slash site dash API. This is where the Fortnite Tracker API documentation is. It gives us the guidelines and it gives us the endpoints that we are allowed to hit. For this video, we're concerned with the challenges endpoint. Right up here under authentication, click the manage or create API keys. This will take you to the application page. If you don't have an application, click create application, fill out this form, and then click create app. Then your app will show up here. If you go to the app details, you can scroll down to the bottom of your app and under the credentials and authorization section, you will find your API key. We're gonna leave this website open and we're going to head over to our blog code repository. I'm gonna copy the Fortnite player stats folder from my last video, and I'm going to name this one Fortnite Challenges. Then I'm gonna open my config, my functions, and my index file in Sublime Text. Well, the first file we're gonna look at is the config.php file. This file is here so we can define our API key and then include this file in our other files and use this define instead of having to paste our API key everywhere. We're gonna define fn underscore API underscore key. You're gonna go over to Fortnite Tracker where we just set up our app and copy your API key. Paste your API key right here, save the file and close it. Now we're gonna update our functions.php file. Here we include our config.php so we have access to that define. And then we define our function which hits Fortnite Tracker and gets our stats back. Back at fortnitetracker.com, I'm going to copy our endpoint for reference and save it in my functions.php file. Now it's time to modify our function to hit the challenges endpoint instead of the player stats endpoint. I'm going to rename my function hit challenges. On this endpoint, we have no variables, so we don't need to take in any parameters to this function. I'm going to rename this variable to API endpoint, and it's a very simple endpoint. All we have to do is copy this endpoint directly, and that's all we have to do to update this function in order to hit the challenges endpoint. This function right here specifies the endpoint that we want to hit. Then we open up a curl call, and we tell curl to hit the endpoint we have just defined. The next option we set for curl is our API key. This is why we created our app and got our API key. For every Fortnite Tracker API endpoint we hit, we need to pass along our API key in the header just like this. The key is trn-api-key. Then we specify that as our fn underscore api underscore key, which comes from our config file. Then we specify some other general curl stuff and we get our response back and return it as a PHP array. Now we can move on over to our index.php file. In our index.php file, the first thing we do is we include our functions.php file. Now we have access to our get challenges function that we just set up. So what we want to do here is we want to call our get challenges function. We're going to update the function here to say get challenges, and we're not passing in any parameters. We'll call our variable challenges, and we can delete our variables from our last video. Now we can print out our challenges to make sure that we're getting back data from the API. I'm gonna head over to my Fortnite underscore challenges folder and hit enter. And like we assumed, our challenges array has come back from the Fortnite Tracker API. The challenges gives us an array of items. Each item in the array is a challenge. Each challenge has metadata and each array in the metadata is a key value pair. Here we see we have a key is type and the value is challenge. The name of the challenge is land on different bullseyes and so on and so on for each challenge. Now we want to update our HTML to display out the challenges. I'm going to comment out our printing of our PHP array, and we're going to start editing our HTML. I'll update the title to say Fortnite Current Active Challenges. The rest of the stuff we can leave from the previous video. 
right here we're specifying our font face so we get that nice Fortnite font look to our website. Scrolling down, here is the heading to our web page. I'm going to update this to say Fortnite Current Active Stats. I'm going to delete our player and platform. That is not included in this endpoint. Next we come to the heading. We're simply going to call this Challenges. Then we're going to loop over each of our challenges. Anything after this first list, I am just going to go ahead and remove because we don't need it. Here we want to update our for each loop to loop over our challenges items. We're going to say for each challenge items as challenge, and then we want to display a list item for each one of these challenges. I'm going to clear out everything inside of the list from the previous video, and for each list item, we're going to give the challenge a border. Give it a little bit of padding and a little margin top, then we can specify the inner div. Inside of our inner div, we're going to loop over the metadata for each challenge. Our outer loop is looping over each of these items, looping over 0, then 1, then 2, and so on. Inside of each of these items is some metadata, so we need to loop over each array in the metadata. This way we can determine our key value and determine how to display each of the key values. For example, the first thing I'm going to code up is the image. I'm going to look in the metadata and I'm going to find the reward picture URL. This is the URL to our image. In this case, it's a star. So our data value is the actual URL to the image. Now we just style it up and we're good to go. Now if we open our website in a new tab, we see a bunch of stars. And each of these images is coming from the metadata key value pair reward picture URL. The next thing we're looking for is the name. We want to display out the name for each challenge. And that happens to be the key value pair with a key being name. So after my first if, I'm going to say else if name equals key. In this case, we just display out the name in a div and we put it to the right side of the star. Refresh our page and we see that our challenge name is now displayed next to each image for each of the challenges. And that is how we use the Fortnite Tracker API to get data for each of the current active challenges. We loop over each challenge, loop over the metadata from each challenge, and display the name and the image for each of the challenges. That is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.